Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Thursday, October 26, and today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets on banterbubbles.com. We're going to call it a green day. It looks like there's more green bubbles than red. Looking at Banter Bubbles, uh, top 100 tokens for the day. Uh, Gala Games is up 15.6. Thorchain's up 7.8. Pepe's up 7. Doge is up 4.6. Axie Infinity is up 4, Neo Protocol is up 4.9, Avalanche is up 5.6, Arbitrum is up 3.7, Ethereum up 0.78, Solana up 2, Quant up 4.3. Um, looking at some of the bigger red bubbles, Radix is down 6.2, Bitcoin's down 1.1, Robit's down 6.2, Stack's down 4.6, Bitcoin SV is down 4.4, Aave's down 4. A green day for crypto. Pretty mixed, almost 50-50, but green day for crypto. Looking at the hour, the hour is very green. So looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin's moving along in this uptrending channel in this flag pattern with the flag pole being right here. Yeah, let's see, didn't take. Hmm. Right there, there's the flag pole, there's the flag. And so right now we're in this uptrending channel. We're right above 34,000 at 34,257. So Bitcoin's holding strong. Of course, the big news is, are we going to get a spot Bitcoin ETF sooner rather than later? Um, of course, the having four cycle is still very much intact, rhyming with having two and three Bitcoin having cycles. And we're going to look at that in more detail in a minute. Looking at news on CryptoNewsFlash.com, revised Bitcoin ETF proposal takes another shot at SEC approval. Bitwise has refiled its application for Bitcoin spot ETF with new amendments. The amendment solidifies the hope the product will be approved by the SEC. So looking at Bitcoin, we're going to look at uh, if a spot Bitcoin ETF is approved in this cycle, which we think is the more likely scenario, we could get something. This isn't financial advice, not a financial advisor, but we could get something like this. We could continue up at this slope that we're continuing on now very nicely, uh, following along with the having three and having two fractals in orange and yellow. And then once we get the ETF appro approval, get a much steeper slope, uh, possibly up through the having into the first quarter of 2024. So sometime in that time frame, we are six months currently to having four, which will be around April 22nd, 2024. Then maybe we'd flatten off a bit, maybe even come from the top side of the fractals down to the bottom side of the fractals with a final push up, possibly up around half a million dollar Bitcoin. We're about 25 months to the having four peak if we follow the past fractals. Let's look at what we may see if we don't get a, a Bitcoin spot ETF approved. Um, the, the, the having cycle is still intact. So we're following along nicely. I think we'll still get a steeper slope up through the having possibly up into the middle of the fractals then flatten off maybe for a longer time frame, and then possibly come in under the having three fractal that if we followed the having three fractal, we'd get around a 340,000 Bitcoin. So maybe we come in around a $250,000 Bitcoin again, as we get lesser slope at, with each cycle. Uh, lesser gains with each cycle. So, but the Bitcoin having cycles are still intact. We think they are the driving force. Again, not financial advice, not, uh, not a financial advisor, but uh, just looking at the past uh, have, having events and where we are with it and the consistency and shape and duration, um, we are uh, going to move along with the, uh, with, the, with the understanding that the having cycle is not broken until we do see something that indicates that it's broken, which we have not yet, We're still intact. So Bitcoin spot ETF denied, still following the halving cycle nicely, possibly up to a $250,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2025. Bitcoin spot ETF approved, possibly and still getting a peak around the end of 2025, up around half a million. Further news on Cointelegraph.com. Bitcoin price chases after 35,000 as Bitcoin derivatives data signals fresh inflow. Bitcoin options and futures data suggests the current Bitcoin price movement could have longevity. Uh, based on the current sentiment expressed by market participants on social media, one could almost assume that the long-awaited bull market 
has started. We have been saying the bull market has started since November uh, 21st of 2022. So since December of 2022, we have been in a bull market up over 105% since that time. But looking at, um, I forget what this is, looking at Bitcoin futures aggregate open interest, we can see that it just been, keeps climbing since the 20th. We just keep getting more and more open interest. And so also Bitcoin derivatives point to a healthy bull run and room for further gains. The Bitcoin futures premium reached 9.5% on October 24, marking the highest level in over a year. More notably, it broke above the 5% neutral th threshold on October 23, putting an end to a nine week period dominated by bearish sentiment and low demand for leveraged long position. So you can see, uh, we're up above, uh, we're right around in the 9%. We did get as high as 14% on dare a bit and, and, uh, above the 5% neutral threshold on this chart for, um, Bitcoin futures premium. Uh, next thing is 25% skew tends to rise above 7% while periods of excitement typically see it dip below negative seven. So if we see it going below negative seven, we have uh, periods of excitement. And uh, right now we're down uh, around negative seven. And so um, um, we are seeing that in this data as well. And we'll leave links to all this, all these articles in the description down below. And so we won't go into this in any further detail. We are continuing to watch for in, for indicators that, that tell us that we're going into an altcoin season. One of those is looking at total three compared to Bitcoin and, um, and looking through the having three cycle, um, right? This is uh, we're currently 26 weeks back from having four, 26 weeks back from having three is right over here. This white line, you can see it's pretty flat through there. And we started to ramp up around the halving, maybe a little bit sooner. Of course, we had COVID, so it got a little skewed in this area. But where we really saw ramp up is 30 weeks after the halving event. And then again, 60 weeks after the halving event, we saw uh, total three really move up. But uh, looking to get into alts, we'd say we're definitely in altcoin season right in this area, uh, about 30 weeks after the halving event in the halving three cycle. So right now we're just watching to see if having three moves steeper. So let's look at a chart that gets us into a little bit more detail. This is the daily. And again, uh, Bitcoin is moving at a much steeper rate than total three right now, indicating that we'll, uh, all coin season has not arrived. Looking at the two hour chart, um, they're just kind of following along right now but you can see we've had a much steeper rise in bitcoin than in total three also we're going to be looking at the eth slash bitcoin eth the bitcoin on a logarithmic scale and you can see that each time before the having we were in a downtrend uh currently in a downtrend before having four and looking at that in more detail we have seen a rise in the eth the bitcoin um and so, you know, potentially we'd like to see it move above this resistance and ultimately this resistance from this long-term downtrending channel right here, um, that would give us a very good feel for that. Possibly we're going into an altcoin season, but even breaking above this downtrending resistance might start thinking about getting into some altcoins based on that. Uh, last news article on beinencrypto.com is Ethereum ready to move above $3,000. This pattern points to yes. Uh, the weekly time frame count is extremely bullish. The count suggests, uh, this is the Elliott wave th theory, the count suggests that ETH is in wave three of a long-term five wave or upward movement that began in June of 2022. The subwave count is given in white while, so the ETH is in subwave three. So we're in, in the third wave of the Elliott wave in this upward movement in a five wave upward movement, according to this article on being in crypto.com. I thought there was something else that we were looking at. Um, so looking at the chart, uh, oh, that's right. 190 day resistance. We've come up and almost touched on that in this weekly candle. Let's go to the daily. 
Um, came right up close to touching it above the 200 day simple moving average for Ethereum. A couple of things that are pointing to some bullish potential. Uh, anytime we get above the 200 uh, day simple moving average, we have in the past seen some nice explosion of price to the upside. And so we're going to be looking for that to happen with ETH again now. So thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and share it with others. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.